so we got a couple of comments. Let's see. User has been banned, has joined us. Hey, user. And user says, apparently, shots fired as Trump was leaving a golf course in Florida. What? That's breaking news. Hang on. Thank you, user. User has been banned. Just notified us that the Secret Service is responding to a shooting near Donald Trump as he left his golf club in West Palm Beach, Florida, uh, according to law enforcement uh, sources. And I have on the screen with us right now, this is a top story. It is breaking news. Um, The New York Post, 33 minutes ago at the beginning of the show, said that Donald Trump uh, shots fired near him. The Independent says that shots were fired at Donald Trump, at his uh, Donald Trump golf club where he was playing. The Daily Mail say the shots were fired at the golf club. Trump's campaign, according to the AP, says that he is safe. Let me check on this. Is there anyone else? Let's see. So 34 minutes ago, 11 minutes ago, The Guardian, 11 minutes ago. Trump is safe after gunshots reported in his vicinity. Uh, NBC, six minutes ago. Trump campaign says the form that Donald Trump is safe. What, you're going to say former president? Say Donald Trump. Uh, Daily Beast, I don't care what they have to say. AP. So the most credible source, the Guardian, seems to be the most credible source that is relatively neutral. Um, This is an internationally credible source. So let's see what they have to say. Politico is reporting, Politico reports, and Politico is left-leaning. Politico reports that gunshots in question fired at the Florida Trump National Golf Club where Donald Trump was golfing. Uh, Let's see. He is safe. Reuters could not independently determine uh, where Trump was at the time. Meredith McGraw had reported the gunshots in question fired at the golf club. So there isn't any real news on this at the moment. No one knows what actually happened. Where is Donald Trump? Was he was there shots at Donald Trump? Was it another assassination attempt? Is unclear. This is as of 11, 12 minutes ago. So this is the most up to date, credible international news source that I can find. I know people will say, well, Mike, you could have gone to NBC. Yes, their uh, news source they're not exactly credible and they are biased. We know that. So I want to get a non-biased or at least not U.S. biased uh, news source. I'd rather go overseas to see what they have to say because they don't have the same bias that ABC, NBC, um, CNN, MSNBC that they have. As an example, let's take a look. I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to so we know what was just said by the uh, by um, the Guardian. Where is the NBC coverage? There it is. So NBC. Trump campaign says foreign president is safe following possible gunshots in his vicinity. Well, it wasn't. We don't know it was in his vicinity. We know it was at the golf club, and we know that Donald Trump was at the golf club. That doesn't mean it's in his vicinity. That's a very different thing. If you shoot at someone 15 feet away from me, that's in my vicinity. If you shoot somebody in the Bronx, well, even though I'm in the Bronx, that's not my vicinity. It's not the same thing. They go on to say the former president was on the golf course and was immediately rushed to safety on Sunday, unconfirmed if the shots were in fact fired. Okay, so now, according to nine minutes ago, NBC News, they don't think it was real. And I can say that because NBC is now putting into the mind of the public that this wasn't real. Politico said that it happened. The Guardian is saying that it happened. So international news, generally neutral news are saying That shots happened. We don't know who did it. We don't know the details, but there were shots. NBC is saying, this is a hoax. Really? 
How do you have that evidence, NBC? Where do you get that from? So this is why I said, when I look at American news media, there's a bias. NBC is saying, is the only one saying that this is a hoax, potentially, because they don't like Donald Trump. Let's see. Um, Trump campaign said Trump is safe. Gunshots rang out near him on his golf course. So they're saying, okay, they're saying the Trump campaign, who did not tell anyone else that the gunshots were near Donald Trump, told NBC that they were near Donald Trump. Okay, suddenly NBC is getting news that no other internationally credible news agency is getting. I doubt it. And they, and the very second thing, they put doubt into the American people's minds. It is still unconfirmed if shots were in fact fired. Only NBC is suggesting that this didn't happen. Only NBC is trying to say that this is a hoax. Only NBC is trying to downplay this and to turn this into a negative spin against the Trump campaign. Only NBC. This is the bias that they're putting in here. They're putting doubt into the American people for a political advantage. No one else in the world, I just showed you what the United Kingdom, the, the Guardian, what they had to say at the same time that NBC is putting out their news report. They're at the same time. Why is NBC saying this when no one else is saying that? I do, it's because they have a bias. I'm showing you the bias. A source familiar with the matter told NBC News that Trump was immediately rushed to safety. And the campaign was also telling you that. In a statement, Trump campaign spokesman Stephen Chung said, President Trump is safe following gunshots in his vicinity. No further details at this time. Okay, so you have a direct statement from the campaign with a named person. This is an unknown source. I mean, NBC saying a source familiar. Who's your source? We know where the source is from the Trump campaign. They have a named individual that is saying gunshots happened. NBC is saying, uh, maybe not. Wait a minute. Who's telling you that it didn't happen? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why would you try and debunk this when there's no evidence that there that it didn't happen. This isn't Jussie Smollett. This is Donald Trump in a campaign for the 2024 election. What is NBC doing? They're playing propaganda games. They are trying to bias the public against this. They are trying to bolster and fortify the 2024 election for Democrats. That's what's happening in real time, and I am showing you the evidence right now. The Secret Service, in conjunction with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, is investigating 2 p.m. the president is safe. This is according to Secret Service. I think the Secret Service would tell you if it was a hoax, if it didn't happen, the Secret Service would tell you that. The Secret Service would not evacuate former President Donald Trump because of, a, because of gunshots that were in his vicinity if they weren't happening, if it didn't happen. That's, they're not like that. They don't just jump forward because a balloon popped. They evacuated the president. They had a reason. Otherwise, they would say it's not real, that they didn't evacuate Donald Trump. So they did, in fact, according to the, to the Secret Service, they did evacuate Donald Trump. That means something happened. Everyone is saying it was a gunshot. It had to be extreme, whatever happened, to evacuate Donald Trump, to remove him into a safe place. Therefore, something serious happened. Everyone says that serious thing is a gunshot. NBC says, mm, nah, maybe not. This is a hoax. Fake news. Just like they said that the Hunter Biden laptop was fake news. It's not real. Oh, Joe Biden getting money from the Chinese government through his son. Fake news. Not real. Oh, you know what was real? 
the Ukraine phone call with Donald Trump. Yeah, that was that was a violation of law. Oh, oh, that was a hoax. That didn't actually happen. Oh, Donald Trump, he he insulted soldiers. Oh, well, that was a hoax. That didn't actually happen. Oh, the Russia Russia collusion. You know, Donald Trump was colluding with Russia. Oh, that was a hoax. That didn't happen. Jesse Smollett, he was attacked by MAGA people in Chicago. Oh, that, that was a hoax that didn't happen. But, you know, but don't worry about the credibility and the consistent, consistent propaganda of NBC News and ABC News, the left-leaning news in America. Don't worry about that. Trust them. This is now a hoax because they're saying it might be a hoax. When all of the evidence... All of the quotes, the named individuals are all telling you it's real. My God, folks, really? Uh, let me see here. Let me go on with this NBC. A senior law enforcement official briefed on the incident told NBC News Trump was on the golf course when the sound of gunfire was heard in the nearby distance. Okay, again, vicinity. That's questionable. No one else has said it was near Trump except NBC. As a precaution, Secret Service moved him to safety. No evidence that Trump was targeted. No evidence that he was targeted. Also, no evidence that says he wasn't targeted. We don't know. But it obviously was of enough concern, it was enough of a real threat that the Secret Service moved Trump. Local police are looking for into the cause of, of the sound of what may have been gunfire. Again, this is NBC News downplaying this. This is NBC News inserting doubt into the article that no one else has inserted. And it is highly unlikely it wasn't a balloon because Secret Service took it as being real. Secret Service knows the difference. They train to understand the difference between a car backfiring and a gunshot going off. And they would have to have some serious reasons to believe it was a gunshot and not some other sound. So, I, I just want you to see. So, again, that's the NBC News article on this and I will be adding links at the end of the show for everything that I am talking about but again going to the Guardian which is live going live at the same time as NBC News and they don't have the same information they're not saying that as we had just showed you uh, previously they didn't say that this was a hoax that this was fake that this was anything but a gunshot at the golf course that may or may not have been an assassination attempt, that Trump was moved from the, from the golf course because they did think it was a serious thing. So I think there's a big difference. And I think you can see how that difference is playing out. Look at this. Now they have their breaking news campaign, Trump safe following gunshots in the vicinity. But NBC is saying that it's not real. That's manipulation. I believe that's propaganda. I think you're watching propaganda in real time, engineered by NBC and the left-leaning news media, that they are trying to alter the way that the public sees this election. I'm trying to highlight to you, this is how propaganda is created and spread in real time. And that it is happening in real time in, right now in America. That this isn't some kind of story in a movie or a book or a TV show. This is how propaganda real time is spread. You have certain elements of the news media that decide that they are going to interject just a little. All it takes is one sentence. And all of a sudden, everything is cast into doubt. They want you to doubt Donald Trump. They want you to distrust Donald Trump so that you don't vote for Donald Trump in the 2024 election. So they suggest unilaterally, while all other news media sources are saying this happened, they suggest it's not real. 
They suggest that it's a hoax, that it's fake. They are editing the information. They have named individuals who are going on the record to tell you this happened. They have named organizations, the Secret Service, that are telling you something happened. And instead of letting you have the facts and developing the story as it goes, they're inserting their political agenda to tell you what they feel. And hopefully that will affect the way you vote. It's in real time, folks. I'm showing you the evidence in real time. And I've shown you, and you can't say, The Independent is a credible international news organization. NBC is a news organization. Credibility, questionable. Does that make sense, folks? Does that make sense why I do what I do? Because no one else in the news media, they're going to pick a side. You're going to see some people who are going to say it was absolutely real and it's Donald Trump and blah, blah. It was, it was done by the left. They'll come up with their own conspiracy theories. Absolutely. And you'll see some other people who are going to come out and they're going to say, oh, absolutely not. This was absolutely something that only happened because of uh, uh, the Donald Trump campaign. They made it up. And that's the far left. They're going to go with that with no evidence to back them up because they want to change people's emotions. If they convince people that this is fake, then they're not going to look at any of the news that comes out about the story after that. They've already made the emotional leap of faith. So everything else, which may include include all of the evidence of what did actually happen, they will never see it because they've already tuned it out. But they've also planted the seed, I can't trust the Trump campaign. This is a gimmick. Not because that's the truth, but because NBC planted that seed of doubt. And they did that for a political gain. That's evil. That is deceptive. That's authoritarian. It destroys the First Amendment. This is exactly why we... This is exactly opposite of why the First Amendment was created. Let me go to the really far left. Let's see what... This is the Daily Beast. It's about as far left as you can get. So, very disputing, very disputed whether or not they're credible. Shots fired as Trump golfs at his West Palm Beach club in the reports. This is their breaking news. Okay. Multiple, multiple shots... Multiple shots were fired at former Donald Trump's golf club. I didn't hear anyone say multiple shots. Did you see multiple shots in any of the other news? Per Politico, per Politico, Trump was at the club and golfing at the time. The former president was never in danger. Now they're saying that's what the New York Post says. Reported by two individuals targeting one another, exchanged gunfire, outside the Trump International Golf Club. So it wasn't, according to them, it's not even on the golf club. The Daily Beast is one of those supremely far-left organizations. Incredibly far-left. And even they will not say that this is fake. Even they won't say that this is a hoax. They're as far-left as you get. They're socialists, communists. They're, They're the progressive left They hate Donald Trump with a absolute burning passion. Even they won't say what NBC said. That just tells you everything right there. User has been banned says they seem to spin the story and build off each other. Well, that's modern news media. Rather than actually look at the facts, what you will often see is that once a somewhat credible news source comes out with a story, they literally copy paste all the others so that they can be part of that news cycle that breaking news cycle rather than get confirmation they just copy and paste what anyone and everyone else says and they don't actually confirm for themselves that's why the daily beast is saying well the new york post has said and politico has said okay that's why i went to the independent 
and internationally credible news agencies outside of the United States. And I'm getting their corroboration before I went to anyone else. See, I went to someone who's actually getting their own independent sourcing rather than, okay, I'm copy pasting from one source and another source or NBC. They're just making it up. It may not have happened. No one says it didn't happen. Now, the New York Post is saying it may have happened outside the uh, outside of the actual golf course. So it wasn't it was in the vicinity, but not in the golf course and not targeting Donald Trump. That's what the New York Post apparently is saying. Okay. And other news media are saying or it was in the vicinity. It was in the area. Everyone else has said there was one gunshot. The Daily Beast is saying several, but no one said it didn't happen. Only NBC News. Even if you want to say, but Mike, it didn't happen on the golf course. It wasn't targeting Donald Trump. It was two other guys doing their own stupid thing. Okay, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. The gunshot did happen. It was in the vicinity of the golf course. Donald Trump was golfing. He was evacuated. It did happen. NBC said it didn't happen, that none of this existed, that this was fake, that it was a hoax. They said that to their audience so that they would vote Democrat. That's how propaganda is played. And I just showed you that in real time. This is why I don't trust U.S. news media by itself. Why I often look at international news to understand what's happening in U.S. politics. Because I don't trust the U.S. news media to tell the correct story. They will change things. This is why I look at multiple news sources to read about the same news story because I don't trust them. They've justified why I don't have that trust. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us back here at No Sound Bites Allowed. This is September 15th. It is currently 516 in the evening. There has been a lot of breaking news that has been happening, and we have been following up on some of that news. Uh, We also put out a poll on the news. The breaking news being that there was a second assassination attempt against Donald Trump. Uh, There is more news about that. We're going to cover that. We were covering it earlier today. And was uh, as suggested, I want to clarify a couple of points. Uh, Darth Hideous uh, in the chat had mentioned that, hey, there seems to be a second shooting that's being talked about against Donald Trump, that there was a second assassination attempt. That is the same news as the initial news brought to us by user has been banned at about three in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, about a half hour after we had started the program. Now, at that time, what we had seen in the news, and let me bring this up for you properly. Uh, Bear with me, folks. So at the time, we had gone back and we had gone to the international news first, going to The Guardian. And their news story at the time was talking about shots in the vicinity of the golf course and that Donald Trump was safe and that there had been shots fired um, and Trump was golfing at the time. That was the initial news story as it came from international news sources. We also checked out what was being said by um, the far left news media to show the rest of uh, to show the public why did we go international in covering the news first before we decided to do anything else. And we were able to show you. Now, since that time, since 3 o'clock uh, this afternoon, we now see that the Daily Beast has completely changed their story. They removed the initial story that you can go back on the live stream and you'll be able to see this. Uh, you'll see that they had an entirely different news story talking about um, the potential of shots, that it was near Trump, and they were relying on news they were getting from Politico and from the New York Post. They hadn't done any reporting of their own. Fair enough. Sometimes that happens. But in that, 
they initially stated, and we have uh, highlighted that, I believe, they are actively changing this story a couple of times because they just had it highlighted that they had been relying on the New York Post. And they had initially said that there was two individuals that were involved in a shooting near the golf course near Donald Trump and that he had been evacuated by the police. So they're continuing to update this story. They keep changing it as we go. Uh, So they removed that completely. The initial story from the New York Post is that Trump was rushed to safety. Again, a lot of the news agencies are changing the information that they are providing because initially it was thought that there was a shooting near the golf course. That's what was initially reported. And then it has come out and we can see that the initial reports, as stated by the New York Post, that two people were firing at each other. But now we know that it was the Secret Service shooting against a potential assassin who was in the woods, who would be later cat caught at on I-95 after this incident, after Donald Trump had been evacuated. The Secret Service were on the golf course, away from Donald Trump, in front of Donald Trump, and they were able to isolate and identify this attempted assassin. They engaged that assassin with gunshots, uh, with gunfire being exchanged between the two, that individual then left. It appears that individual had a rifle, a semi-automatic rifle, which is not an assault weapon. They did not have a machine gun. They had a rifle. And that person disengaged to later be caught on I-95. That's where we get from the reporting in, uh, according to the New York Post. The thing that I think is very important about this is that NBC has not changed their coverage. NBC said initially they suggested that this was a hoax. Again, you can go back into our coverage, our live stream at three o'clock, about a half hour into the live stream when we first started covering this and they had an entirely different headline. They were suggesting in the byline, that this was not real, that the shots were unconfirmed, that it was unconfirmed if this was real or if it was a hoax. They have since changed that as all news media have learned more about the incident, have confirmed that it was a second assassination attempt, that there was a shooter with a rifle and that the Secret Service did engage with them. They changed the title, but they didn't change the article. And you can see here the article which says the Trump campaign said former Donald Trump is safe at Sunday after possible gunshots. We know that there were gunshots. That is a fact rang out in the vicinity of his golf course in West Palm Beach. It is still, according to NBC, it is still unconfirmed if the shots were in fact real. The only people who are doubting the reality of this is NBC. Kamala Harris, both Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have condemned the assassination attempt against Donald Trump. This is from today, September 15th. This isn't the original attempt. This is the current attempt, the breaking news right now. She said that on September 15th at 3 Uh, 42 p.m. This is after NBC News came out and said it was a hoax that NBC News alleged that this may not be real and that they have not changed that information from NBC News that they even though they updated the headline, they did not update the story itself and still are insisting to the audience of NBC who are Democrats, that this is a hoax, that this is not real. We again will say to you that this is propaganda by NBC News. That NBC News, in their delay, in their effort to allow there to be any illusion of 
a hoax, any illusion of a lack of confirmation, any illusion that this did not happen is an attempt to fortify the 2024 election. This is meant to bolster Democrats' disbelief in Republicans and in Donald Trump and to believe that this was completely made up so that they can help gain votes for Kamala Harris. That is my belief. That is what I gather from looking at the evidence as I am showing it to you on the screen right now this is currently 5 25 p.m and i am showing you the live information in fact i went a little bit further than that because i went on to x and you can go there now uh i have and i also posted in the chat a poll asking you do you believe that nbc was credible or were they propagandists as they suggested what we now know was an assassination attempt that it was a hoax, that they suggested it was not real. Now, um, I'll update this because I haven't had a chance to update it yet. Uh, we haven't had a lot of people take it so far, three votes. Two people believe that it was propagandist. One believed it was credible, that it was credible for NBC, the only news agency to say the daily beast even they did not doubt that there was an attempt on donald trump's life even the daily beast a super far left propagandist excuse me a progressive news organization even they accepted that there was gunshots that they were near if not on the golf course, they were near the golf course, that it may have involved Donald Trump. Even they did not doubt this and did not assume that it could be a hoax. Only NBC, they were the only major mainstream news media source that we could find internationally that doubted the validity of this incident, which tells me and should tell you that your trust in NBC News is misplaced, that they are more than happy to provide misinformation and disinformation to their viewers to gain a political uh, advantage. That's it. And that is what I define as propagandist. That is my opinion. That is based on the evidence that remains available to the public. And you can see the original articles that I am referencing at the roughly the 30 minute mark in this live stream. And you can see the current one. And I will have the links for the current versions that I have still saved that after the end of the show. So you can look back on it. But it is our belief that NBC is playing political games with breaking news about the president of the United States so that they can alter the 2024 election. There was a second attempt on Donald Trump's life. That is a fact. This comes out of statements from the left demonizing Donald Trump saying that he will end democracy, that he will take away people's rights, that he will dissolve the Constitution, that he is somehow going to, either through Project 2025 or some other means, turn America into a dictatorship. That is not accurate. That is categorically incorrect. They have misattributed to him many things, like when uh, in the debate between Donald Trump, and we were talking about this, uh, Wednesday, during the Wednesday live stream at 7 p.m. with the Liberty First Foundation, Kamala Harris was not fact-checked even once, even as she lied about things that are so popular and widely known. Every left-leaning news media source have admitted Donald Trump was not trying to prop up or to support the KKK or white nationalism in Charlottesville, that that is a lie, a lie perpetuated by the left-leaning news media, by the Democratic Party to gain votes, to try and be able to call Donald Trump a racist. It's not true. It has never been true. And Kamala Harris said that lie that had been debunked by ABC News, said it on, during the debate 
and the moderators let it go and did not say anything about it. I'm happy to be here with you today. Understand the logic, and we see this in social media on a regular basis, and it's something that Newsweek decided not to tell you about. Representative Sheila Jackson Lee has no idea what she's talking about. You can meet a very, very stringent accuracy rate when it's important, when it matters, like in federal elections. 